get ready to feel like your bones are going to shatter. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, you're frightening people. Emily Blunt there describing how the brand new movie by Christopher Nolan might make you feel after you have watched it. I will say it will leave you definitely debating with your friends. <laughs> Hopefully your bones will not shatter. Right, I'm Max, this is Flippy Wig. Welcome along if you're a new subscriber and please do turn your notifications on so you don't miss a video. Listen, we're not getting away from it. There are a few massive movies that are out right now and also about to be released and one of those films is Oppenheimer by the wonderful, the incredible, the man that everyone wants to work with, Christopher Nolan, including Florence Pugh and Emily. You Lewis. know what, no one could have prepped me for that, for that experience. He truly, truly is the, the greatest and I think every actor under the sun would be desperate to get on their own flight to come and be in his movie. So the fact that he wanted that from us is truly amazing. He's just a magnificent director and and such amazing vision, so singular, so so incomparable, you know, what he's done for cinema and the way in which he does it. And he makes these films for audiences. He loves his audiences. He, he makes them to be a fully immersive experience for you like a life-changing one. And I think people feel that about his films. That's why they watch them so many times. This movie is based on the story of this American physicist, um, J. Robert Oppenheimer. It tells the story of the creation of the first nuclear weapon and his own complicated personal life. It stars Killian Murphy. I've been waiting to meet Killian for years. And um, the fact that I was able to work so closely with him on this was an utter dream, like totally. It was completely pure and completely real and exactly what acting should be like. Emily portrays Killian Murphy's wife in this. She plays Kitty Oppenheimer. Alongside her, look out for Florence Pugh, who plays Jean Tatlock, a complicated, strong, accomplished woman who ends up doing a little day with Oppenheimer. My biggest way in was just researching her and of course there isn't much, however, there are pictures that were taken of her during that time by Robert and to me, someone like him, for his head to be turned, has to be by someone who is truly magnetic and magical and, and uh, uh, pretty intelligent. So I understood uh, the, the message. The film also features some incredible heavyweights, including Josh Hartnett, Robert Downey Jr., Kenneth Branagh, or should I say Sir Kenneth Branagh, Literally, you're going to be watching it and just spotting famous people. But the thing I love about this film is everybody that's in it, including Matt Damon, they literally would have done it for free because Christopher Nolan is one special director. She was such an exhilarating character to even just read about. She was so exciting for that time, a sort of non-conformist and a bit wild, you know, and um, forthright and not terribly warm. And <laughs> it was just fun to play her, it really was. It's fair to say Oppenheimer is one of the most anticipated films of 2023. I mean, come on, it's Christopher Nolan and that lineup alone has got the world buzzing. I think it's a really important film for cinema as well. And it reminds you how much going to cinemas is an experience that you cannot get at home. Let me know if you plan to go July the 21st and how you feel about this ensemble. Leave a comment, like the video, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Your support is completely appreciated. Take care, I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye. It's not what you think. It is Trojan horse, it's, it's really a horror thriller. It's, it's, it's incredible.